Hi, thank you for your interest. Uh, my name is Kerry Gosling. I'm a general manager with 35 years of broad experience in the realms of technology, engineering, manufacturing. I've been involved in many change programs, mostly designed to grow sales and profit, but also sometimes managing declining markets by increasing market share or capacity reduction. Today I'm going to talk about generating enterprise growth. The enterprise can be any human activity that takes time to complete, and by growth I just mean a sustainable improvement in that activity. If that sounds a bit abstract to you, you might be happier thinking just in terms of sales and profit growth, and if you are, that's fine. I use the abstract terminology simply to emphasise that my comments are equally applicable to not-for-profit and non-commercial activities, and I encourage you to bear in mind that improvement can happen on the downside as well as on the upside. Any enterprise facing a shrinking need for its activity has to improve in order to sustain itself. I'm delivering my experience as a series of talks. Although these talks reflect the elements of a broader overarching analytical framework, you don't need to know the framework to enjoy a specific talk. And although I believe that there is a natural order to the good management of the topics, you can take the talks in any order you like. Each talk is broken into segments. If you want, you can watch a talk from end to end, which will take about 40 minutes. Alternatively, if you have a busy life, you can watch each segment by itself and absorb its contents in just a few minutes. In general, it's probably best to watch the segments in the sequence I intended, but I've tried to minimise the dependency on this to help you with your time challenges. Before I start, there is one important health check. The world is full of unpredictability. Human behaviour, market prices, the weather, politicians' decisions. So it's really difficult to accurately predict the future and you should dismiss any consultant who prescribes a formulaic approach to change. There is no process for delivering growth that can be applied successfully without considering context and employing judgment. Anyone who suggests different to you is either a fool or, more likely, a rogue who takes you for a fool. In the end, the only person who can manage your enterprise is you. But what I have learned from 30 years of practice is that if you seek enterprise growth, there are some preconditions that must exist in the enterprise and some activities that must happen in sequence to support growth. The existence of these preconditions and activities does not guarantee growth, but their absence precludes it. I'm happy to share this experience and leave it to you to decide what you make of it.